most of the people who come up to me say, oh, I played football for your grandpa or played baseball. He started coaching at Hillsborough, and he won four state championships there, and then uh, proceeded to coach at Linfield, win four national championships. Three were in football, and one was in baseball. Well, it was just a great year for Ann Rutz, but as for Linfield College, heck, they did everything right, didn't they? Well, he was dad to us. Within the sports realm, you know, he's, you know, I can get on Wikipedia and like, yeah, I think he's the only college coach to win a national championship in two sports. Linfield College Wildcats are the NAIA Division II national champions. I mean, honestly, he was a legend in the state of Oregon back then. He's in the College Football Hall of Fame. I'll tell you, Coach Rutschman and his players are a close, close unit. To have a positive impact on people, I think, is, is really critical, you know, and that makes me very proud. If I was to sum it up, you know, what has your dad done? That would be it. He's helped many young people develop. I was at baseball games. My dad was coaching. I was engulfed in it at a young age. Being a coach's son, there's definitely benefits from that. <laughs> I just think it was an environment where between Randy and, and Ad, they were a great influence on him. When I was little, my dad, he kind of wanted me to find my own way. One day he said, I just kind of went out and said, Dad, you want to play baseball? Adley was self-motivated. I, I never ever said, let's go out and hit today. It was him dragging me out there. And so we got the wiffle ball bat out and started playing, and that was kind of the start to, you know, baseball for me. Four, 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 three! My dad was a catcher, so kind of passed it down from, from him to me. Four, 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 four! Randy was a very good catcher himself, in fact. He gave Adley the foundation blocks. Well, catching for a lot of young people is not the most desirable thing on earth to do. Good boy. For me, it was just one of those positions that, okay, why am I voluntarily getting hit by the ball? It wasn't until my senior year of high school that I really started to love catching. It was kind of when the game started to slow down for me. My education was extremely important to me. My wife and I sat down with him and asked him, you know, what do you really want to do? There's something exciting about making baseball a living, but there's also, you know, something into becoming more mature. And I know that if I were to go to pro ball out of high school, I wouldn't have been ready enough for that. It was a pretty easy decision to come here. If you miss the college experience, you miss probably the greatest team experience of your life, which was the case. Adley Rutschman to lead things off. The freshman catcher, then kicker. Kicker on the football team and a good one. What a beautiful swing by the man who kicks it in the fall and hammers it in the spring. Football is a, a phenomenal opportunity for me. I remember the call that I got you know, when I was coming in as a freshman in July. They asked me if I wanted to come down to Bend to try out for the team. There's an onside. It looks like Oregon State's got it. They do. It's Rutschman, and the kid that loves to play baseball makes the play. The workload was a lot that fall term. Football in the morning, baseball in the afternoon. I felt like if I was playing both sports, I wasn't fully committed to either of them. So for me, it's my dream to play baseball in the major leagues. If I'm gonna do that, I have to put my full effort into baseball. Let's go, energy today. Be here now on three, one, two, three. Be here now. Freshman year, he was playing football, so we couldn't spend the time with him that we could last year in the fall. And he was willing to be coached and make some adjustments. Part of that's having enough confidence in yourself to take risks and make adjustments. If you just stick with the same thing in your swing and it's not working, that's comfort, right? Being comfortable is not gonna get you better. And I think that's really what pushed me to make my big changes in my swing after my freshman year of college. We teach three big things. One is we teach pre-pitch rhythm and movement. Two, we teach stabilizing spine angle or posture, and then the third thing is just getting down on time. It was like a six-month process that 
you know, it, it took a while and I struggled during summer ball, I struggled in the fall, but eventually it got better and in the winter time it really clicked. Adley Rutschman at the plate now for Oregon State, the catcher. And that ball is gone. And that's why they call him Clutchman. Adley making a great name for himself. Great, great swing by Adley Rutschman. What he did last year was amazing. Nice swing right there. That's an advanced approach. I think a lot of it has to do with just having self-confidence and trust in the coaching staff that if you make these adjustments, it's going to make you better. The national championship on the line for Oregon State. Match it up against Arkansas. I had so many people come up to me and say, you know, I'm really not a baseball fan, but I did not miss one pitch of the World Series. Game two, they're the lefty on the mound, and I think I was cheating on an inside fastball. Strike one pitch, he swings and drives it to deep left field. Back goes Kerstad to the track, to the fence, so long! Rutschman hits it out, and the ball game is even at one. It was cool to, you know, score that first run, kind of get everyone going. Matt Cronin is one out away from giving Arkansas their first ever national title. So I was in the hole, Dana was up at bat, I was just kind of on the railing. At the time, just you know, sitting there praying. Popped up, maybe playable. Nobody gets it. Wow. I didn't think they were going to catch it. Like there was really no part of me that was like, okay, this is the end of the College World Series right here. Oregon State given another lifeline. And I knew as soon as they dropped it that uh, Caden was going to get a base hit. Hit and throw, and we are tied. I didn't know Trevor was going to hit a home run. Gets one to hit, drives it to right. This one is deep. This one is gone. And Oregon State roars to the top. Probably the coolest sequence of events that I've ever been a part of. What a comeback. They were down to their last strike. And then going in the next day, I just think the, the feeling, the atmosphere, I just really felt like we were going to win the baseball game. The Beavers a strike away and out away from the national championship. The 3-2 pitch on the way, fastball taken, strike three call. The Beavers are the national champions. You know, I think every guy who was here last year knows what that feels like to win a national championship, and that's our goal again this year to do it with a new team and new individuals. Adley used to be my grandson. Now I am his grandfather. I'm so proud of that guy. <laughs> I'll tell you something, I can't wait for the next game. I'm proud of him for his, what he's accomplished athletically, but I'm more proud of him as what he is as a person. You know, he's, he's just a great kid. I'll tell you, it would be great to see him be drafted someplace in the first round. To be number one, that would be unbelievable. For me, my goals and aspirations are to play in Major League Baseball, so it's, it's more of just a step to get there. It's a goal that I've had since I was a little kid. I think most baseball parents just want their kids happy. I think he just wants to play baseball.